Hello and welcome to the in your series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Tivedi. Recently, it has been informed by ISRO chief that Shukrayan will be delayed. Shukrayan once launch will be delayed and now it will take place in the year 2031. Why is this happening? And what are the reasons behind it? Along with why do we need to explore Venus? What are the interesting facts about Venus? Which are the other upcoming Venus mission projects? We will discuss all about that. So without any further ado, from the perspective of films as well as from the perspective of GS Main's paper 3. Let us move ahead with these many topics that we are going to do step by step. Also GS Main's paper 1. So the news also what are the important facts related to Venus? Why do we need to explore planet Venus? And the Venus exploration missions earliest to till now and about our own Shukrayan mission. Why, which spacecraft will be used for launching Shukrayan 1? What is wrong with the current project? I mean, why is it being delayed? And upcoming missions as well. And in the comment segment, I will provide you with a question. So, is there a pushing Venus mission Shukrayan to 2031? Why is this happening? Moving ahead, first of all, let us talk about Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. It is the second member of our solar system. So, after Mercury, we have Venus. But there is a very important and interesting fact about it. Despite being the second planet, that means further away from the Sun as we compare it to Mercury, it is the hottest planet in our solar system. We will discuss that as well. The surface temperature of Venus is 440 degrees Celsius to 480 degrees Celsius. Because of the huge amount of carbon dioxide that is present in Venus, some kind of greenhouse gas phenomenon is being created over there. Average distance from the sun is 108 million kilometers or 38% closer to the sun than earth. So this is a film's fact. Okay. Gravity, solar day, its solar day is 243 earth days, almost a year. And solar year is 225 earth days. Now atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide, 3% is nitrogen and 1% is other gases. Now there are certain very interesting facts about Venus that could also reflect in your preliminary examination. A day on Venus is longer than a year. That is something very interesting. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. The mean temperature is 462 degrees Celsius. Venus spins clockwise. Our other planets in the solar system go anti-clockwise. Is there only one planet in our solar system that is going clockwise? Tell me in the comment segment. Its unusual axis rotation is due to be upside down. Uh, it could be uh, believed that uh, scientists have believed that the history of Venus suggests that it was struck by some kind of objects, heavenly body in the universe. That is why it is now upside down. That is the issue. Venus is the second brightest natural object in the night sky after of course our own satellite, natural satellite, the moon. Venus has 90 times the atmospheric of the uh, atmospheric pressure of earth. Venus was the first planet to have its motion plotted across the sky as early as 2nd millennium BC. Venus was the first planet to be visited by a spacecraft. This is also very interesting. Moving ahead now let's talk about why do we even need to explore the planet Venus. First, we should know that the science that Venus shows, it tells us that as it is uninhabitable right now, but this was not always the case. So this is one of the most interesting things to explore in Venus. Does Earth have a similar future like that of Venus? Venus was sometimes habit some uh, some millions of millions and millions of years ago. Sometimes it was habitable as well. But if it is uninhabitable now, there must be something to do with the climate of it. So we are trying to remodel Earth's climate on the same model. Venus exhibits plate tectonics. It is believed, it was believed, but later on, because of the one of the missions of NASA, it was clarified that there is no such thing. How much Earth and Venus have in common, especially with respect to climate? Because first, we are as a, as a planet, we are also emitting a lot of carbon dioxide. And we are also seeing a phenomenon known as climate change. So, is Venus's past somewhat related to our own past? 
and why do we need to study that is also very important moving ahead now let's talk about important missions to venus first venus was the first planet to be visited by any spacecraft in 1962 nasa's mariner 2 it flew by venus and it discovered that it was a hot world with no self generated magnetic field it doesn't have its own magnetic field the soviet union became the world leader in early venus exploration and to date it remains the only we can say back then uh, soviet uh, un union became the only and still it is the only one to have landed any object on venus nasa's magellan orbiter was launched in 1990 it used radar to map venus's surface at the high resolution to date so much better pictures could be solicited because of magellan orbiter it used to orbit the venus and because of the pictures that magellan sent it was seen that the impact craters which have been created on venus only were developed in a span of the last 700 million years also there is no sign of plate plate tectonics that was told by nasa's magellan orbiter only okay like in on earth we have plate tectonics but what happens with venus it does not have plate tectonics that means the surface does the plates or the surface uh, in on which the entire sial sima is there it does not move like it moves on the earth due to the you know softness of the uh, asthenosphere right so let's talk about important other important missions other than nasa european space agency's venus express orbiter it was launched in the year 2006 it studied hot spots on the surface of venus along with changing sulfur dioxide level in atmosphere over the 6 year and it could show that there is active volcanism on venus it also found out that there are granite like rocks across the planet that require abundant liquid water to form okay so that means it showed promising results of some sort of water being present in on venus not even if we cannot find it right now there must be some years ago some millions of years ago so that is why it is important to study it also we know that uh, venus is shrouded in yellow thick clouds of sulfuric acid so that is why it is an, that's another important thing to know that how is venus's atmosphere changing japan's ata akatsuki spacecraft is the only probe that is currently orbiting venus all right moving ahead now if we talk about chukrayaan uh, the first mission uh, to venus is dubbed as shukrayaan 1 and this is an orbiter it will orbit and not land on venus it was earlier scheduled from 2023 then it came to 2024 to study venus atmosphere and also the toxic and corrosive nature of clouds of sulfuric acid that cover the planet all right moving ahead now the key objectives of this particular mission will be to investigate surface process and shallow subsurface stratigraphy that is going to be the first time ever to be done by any mission stratigraphy stratigraphy means what it it is a study of uh, the layers of rocks okay so that is known as stratigraphy study of structure composition and dynamics of the atmosphere and investigation of solar winds how it is interacting with the venusian ionosphere like solar flares also interact with our own ionosphere how is it interacting with venus's so that we can be prepared for anything in the future with respect to it moving ahead there is another importance of uh, this particular apart from the objective the significance of this mission will be how earth like planets evolve venus is supposed to be earth like how it has evolved that we want to know the future of the earth we do not know much about the universe's origin right now but all these things they are like a jigsaw puzzle if we are able to fit everything we might be able to trace our past as well so how earth like planets evolved and what conditions exist on earth size exoplanets planets that are beyond our solar system then it will also help in modeling earth climate so that we can be prepared on how our earth will react in the future with the kind of gases we are emitting such as carbon dioxide other like sulfuric acid as well moving ahead now it will be launched by gslv mark 2 which has been developed by ur rao satellite center which is the isro unit only and it is dedicated to design development and construction of indian satellites moving ahead the the 
tools it will carry will be first synthetic aperture radar. This radar will penetrate through the thick clouds of sulfuric acid in Venus to study the surface of Venus and the Venusian Neutrals Analyzer. This has been developed by Sweden and India in collaboration to study how charged particles from the sun are interacting with the atmosphere of the Venus, specifically ionosphere. So the origin of Shukrayaan started in 2012 and five years later in 2017 ISRO commenced preliminary study with respect to the mission. Then the Department of Science after that uh, it was all done when Department of Science received a 23 percent hike in the 2017-18 budget then ISRO saw a shining. Then optimal launch windows from Earth to Venus they occur every once in 19 months so remember that. So because of this very thing the ISRO chief ensured that we have backup years as well back then. So it was earlier 2023 then switch to 2024 then what happens backup once went 2026 then 2028 if they could if they would have missed the 2024 opportunity but even more optimal windows which further reduce the amount of fuel required at liftoff come around every eight years understood so what happened that um, it was touted that why not we ensure that we save on our fuel so for that we need a range of eight years so in 2023 when it was decided that uh, back then when it was decided that 2023 will be the year in which we will launch this particular uh, uh, mission so 2023 cut to 2031 so this particular year is the eighth year in which not a fuel not a lot of fuel will be required so we are going to save money so this would be a better year and that is why it was decided to delay it one of the factors then there is also a wait for formal approval and money with respect to shukriya and that is also the second reason secondary reason because these are required before spacecraft assembly and testing so isro received an allocation of 13700 crore in the 2022-23 budget that was a little better than the last allocation it was all you know allocated to most or major part of it was given to Gaganyaan Gaganyaan the human space mission of India and industry groups since uh, a lot many days it was seen that more industry groups want to be a part of Shukrayaan 1 so that is why it was delayed further there are other upcoming missions such as NASA's Da Vinci mission it will be launched between 2028 and 2030. Then NASA's Veritas Orbiter, it will launch between 2028 and 2030. And you can see the um, similarity in the dates because of the reason that I told you. The European Space Agency's Envision mission will launch no earlier than 2031. And voice, this mission is of China. This, according to China, will go before 2031. So, the date is not very specific with respect to Venus for this very reason. So, I hope you understood all of this. So, now uh, due to paucity of time, I might not be able to announce the names of each and every student today. Uh, so, I will take up your names tomorrow. I will also attach one more question in today's segment. Answer that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay updated.